Welcome back to another video everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the PDT rule. We're going to break down what is the PDT rule, what happens if you break that rule, and tips to overcome the PDT rule. So let's jump right into it. What is the PDT rule? So the PDT rule stands for Pattern Day Trader. The Pattern Day Trader rule requires you to maintain a minimum of $25,000 in an account equity in order to day trade. So you need to maintain a minimum of 25% in account equity in order for you to day trade. So basically you need over $25,000 if you want to become a full-time day trader. Now, if you have less than $25,000, you can only take on three round trip trades during a five business day period. So the whole idea of PDT rule is that if you want to make a lot of trades throughout the day or the week, you need to have over $25,000 in your account. Now, what is a round trip, right? So let's break that down. So the PDT rule says, all right, so if you have over $25,000 or more, you're good. You can trade as much as you want. But if you have less than $25,000 in your account, you can only take three round trips, right? In a span of five business days. What is a round trip? A round trip is when you buy and sell the same day. So for example, if I buy a stock on Monday, right? Let's say I buy a hundred shares on Monday and I sell a hundred shares on Monday, that is considered one full round trip. But if I buy a buy hundred shares on Monday and I sell a hundred shares on Tuesday, that is not a round trip, okay? Now, if I buy 100 shares on Monday and I sell 50 shares on Monday, that is still considered one trade. That is still considered one round trip trade, okay? Now, what the PDT rule says, in a span of five business days, I can only, or you can only make a matter of three day trades, one, two, and three, right? So if you, let's say on Monday, buy and sell a stock and you use one round trip, that next round trip won't be available until five business days, meaning the next time you can use this trade again is next Monday. Until that uh, time period, you'll have two trades remaining. You will only be able to trade two more times on a day trading aspect. But if you buy a stock Monday, right? Let's say you buy 100 shares on Monday and you sell on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or anything else, that is not considered a round trip, okay? So now the question people have is what happens if you break the PDT rule? Now the first violation may only receive a warning. So if you violate the first time, you're only gonna get a warning. However, the second violation will result in freezing your trading account or trading activity in the account for 90 days. So for, for about 90 days, they will freeze your trading account. Right, so don't make, make sure you don't go over this rule. It's very, very, very important to understand that. Now, what are some trips? What are some tips for traders uh, under the PDT rule? Number one, keep track of your round trip trades. Right, a lot of platforms, especially TD Ameritrade, tracks them. They tell you, hey, you only have two left. Hey, you only have one left. They give you an update. Right, so make sure you keep a track of your trades because you do not want to get hit with the violation and you can't trade for 90 days under, under that account. Next, you can try to swing trade. You can maybe buy a stock Monday and look to sell it on Tuesday or Wednesday. Third, you can use multiple entries, right? Instead of taking on a large position initially, you can take on smaller positions. For example, if I buy, a, if I buy stock ABC, right, on Monday, I buy 200 shares, I buy 200 shares, I buy 200 shares, and I sell one time at 600, that's only one day trade. But if I buy 600 and I sell 600, that is also one day trade. But if I buy 200, I buy 200, I buy 200, I sell 300, and I sell 300, that is considered two trades, okay? Now, that's only for one stock. So if this is stock ABC, I only did one trade. But if I traded stock X on Monday as well, 
and let's say I bought 200 shares, but I sell it the next day, that is not a day trade. It's only considering that same stock, the same security that you're trading. Another way to kind of get under the PDT rule is use a cash account. Now this is tricky. Now using a cash account, what do I mean? Let's say you start off with 10 grand. Let's say you can't come up with 25,000. You start off with 10,000. What some people do is they break it down and they say each trade, I'm only gonna use $2,000 per trade. So if you use $2,000 on this day, right, it'll be settled on the third business day, right? But in between, you'll still have 8,000. But if you use 2,000 again, the next day you'll have 6,000. So your cash will still be available, but it'll take three days to uh, allow your money to settle. That's if you're starting with 10 or maybe five or a larger amount, then each day you're gonna have to break down how, how, how much you're trading for the day. And obviously you won't be able to buy and sell a million times, you won't be able to scalp Right? You, you can day trade one or two times with a certain capital amount, so you need to keep these, these things in mind. Uh, and then finally, when you are, or if you are under the PDT rule, uh, make sure you use the PDT rule to force quality trades. You cannot just wake up in the morning and take on a trade because you cannot afford to lose a high quality trade just because you wanna trade. So all your trades you take should be more high quality. It should force you to be more patient and wait for the trading opportunities to come to you. Now the PDT rule obviously uh, throws a lot of people off because a lot of people want to, you know, day trade. But at the same time, from one perspective, uh, you know, it's a bad thing. But from another perspective, I think someone just starting out should not rush into day trading, should not aggressively, you know, try to trade as, as aggressively as possible. So I think what this rule will do for you, it will create once again, a lot of patience. And that is the one upside it, it basically brings to the table.